Okay, here we've got a compressor, and I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, measure on it, and let's see what this thing reads. Now I'm going from one of the terminals, and you can generally pick any of these terminals as long as they have continuity, uh, but I'll try all of them. Okay, now I'm going to one of the copper lines coming in there. Okay, I'm reading 10, a little over 10 mega ohms. Here on the start winding, I was on the run there before, uh, about the same. Uh, on the run winding, we're running 10.8. On the common, we're running about the same. It runs the same through all of them pretty much. So this thing is reading a mega ohm reading. Mostly you're not going to see any reading at all, but this one is. So uh, is 10 mega ohms okay? Okay, we're going to try the insulation tester on it too. Okay, I've got the insulation tester on it. And I'm again back at that common lead. And I'm going to go to the chassis ground on this thing. Test. It says 25. That's a 200 uh, volts, two, or 250 volts. Uh, 500 volts reads 25. So I'm reading, uh, actually I'm reading a higher reading on this thing than I am the uh, ohmmeter. Because I'm reading about 10. So we'll see what happens. Here I've clamped the common. We're going to go ahead and fire it. <laughs> so what does that mean? It runs normally. It's about the right, the right amp draw. Uh, it means that if you do read on your megger or on your uh, insulation tester that there is some continuity to ground maybe you better look a little closer and find out if the thing actually runs uh, these tests are not necessarily good for uh, telling you if the compressor is bad they're telling you perhaps the compressor may fail in the future. Uh, some of the manufacturers have been looking at some of the numbers in these things and they've been saying uh, up to uh, one mega ohm or even uh, 800,000 ohms, uh, it's still okay. So uh, don't uh, decide these things are failed just because of that reading. It's more a uh, measurement to find out if there may be a problem with this in the future and you should probably test it again uh, perhaps in six months or a year. Anyway, uh, that's using the Megger and the insulation tester to see if a compressor is good.